Okay, so next one. Dark grass. Oh, I should heal up. I should probably heal up. You're up so late, champion. Armo. You, you're... It's not that late. It's 7.03 p.m. Oh, yeah. I want to see what happens when I select. I don't know where to go. I am curious there. Oh, yeah. Rearrange my Pokemon. So dark grass, huh? So I probably don't want to hit them with a super effective hit. Unless it's a non-stab one. In which case, maybe you turn like that. Okay, I'm curious. Um, first of all, let's see here. Sure, go after that. Uh, look at that! Fire Blast is available now! Let's try that on Lotad! Um, I don't know where to go! Right, let's see if I'd recommend an accessation for you. Nope, sorry, I've got nothing. You're right for anything Paldea could possibly throw at you, so I'd say go wherever you like. <laughs> but I just said I don't know where to go. The climbing in this game is so cursed. I swear. Yoink! Yoink, yoink the item. Random potion. Okay. You're next, Lombre. You're up next, Buckaroo. Oh, there's the textures being all weird again and stuff. We All the Pokemon spawning in as they do. Fire Blast. Look at that. Big damage. Sweet. Some wild Terra Pokemon here. Maybe they don't despawn as much after after the updates. Maybe that's something that got patched as well. Maybe. So like, the heck? Is it underground or something? Oh, it's here. I see. This is the place where I had so many random encounters at once here. No, this is an ugly pattern. 624 for winning. Um, yeah, let's start moving back to heal. I'll get you next time I'll run a battle. They'll knock your socks off. I look forward to it. Let's have OBS lag like crazy as I switch over to this layout. This is what we do. And then, uh... I need to... Whoops. Do this. Yeah, sure, we can lead with Vivian. Sure, you saved your progress. Alright, what are you like, huh? Let's see here. A faint sound is coming from within the shrine. Will you touch the shrine? Sure! Let's do it! I'll just keep on moving in Pokemon Coliseum back to the Healy thing, Rabob. Rattle, rattle, rumble, rumble, rumble. Let's see this guy. Kerbang! Scribe. Huh. Okay. You are a funky. This does. This does not give me the vibes of a legendary Pokemon. That could give me the vibes of a, a Pokemon when we can attack of all surround Pokemon, but not a legendary Pokemon. I mean, I guess I can do this for like the dark there. If it brings you down really well, you know. Okay, that, that's pretty good, I think. Okay, let's see here. Oh, that could be a little bit concerning, the fact that you can heal yourself. Might be a little bit irksome. All right, let's see here. Um. I don't know, maybe this? Or maybe I should have waited for, uh, well, that, okay. Well. Well, uh, we go again. We go again, methinks. Yeah. Oops. Presented by Game Freak. Wow. I'm so glad it's presented by Game Freak. All right, and we go down this way. The main issue of the game right now is the movie cutscene stutters a bit. What, the, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Is this a, is this a, I don't understand. How, what? Uh? This is the way we go. And then we go battle this way. Oh, this over where your B is. Oh, Kirby ones. I was about to say, like, Okay, and that's the uh, way to the actual bigger bad thing, Rebob. So maybe I'll check some other ways first. Because I was about to say, if you were saying that the only issue with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is that movie cutscenes stutter a bit, I was going to be like, what the heck kind of copy of the game did you get here? Different one than me. No, up. Are we playing the same video game? I just seeing you here again. There must be a bond between us. Here we go. Ryder Darid would like to battle. Like, I was so confused there. All right, look, here's this guy. Look, I can actually fire blast the uh, the fortress now if I really want to. This is what I can do. It is an option, so maybe I'll switch up by Brava. 
Tablets of Ruin. We can the attack there. Lies in Sotre for you and Pyrite Cave. I assume that's in store for you if you look far enough. I think I briefly read it when I was reading up that one guide that said that you could do like side questing or bobs here. Some sort of battle. Um, we'll find out here shortly anyway. Maybe I just start chucking some Pokeballs or something or other. Or maybe I use a different thing or bob. Um, we can use Shadow Rush. We can switch into Entei here is what we can do. Like, out of curiosity, how much damage would this do? Okay. That's pretty good, right? Try to center it so you can most clearly see it here. All right. I guess we start chucking now. I guess now we get to chucking. Imagine if it's just like a first try thing where Bob there. Foul play. You start pulling out your vines, but then your whole model just spawns and it's like, what's the point? As you go into the foul play animation. Knock out my quick claw! I'm still gonna have that after this battle, right? I'm not even really using the quick claw all that much. I just put it on there because my inventory is limited in this. You know? Okay, if you could, like, not, that'd be great. Um. So Shadow Rush the Shuppet. No, Fire Blast the Fortress, how about? Ruination. Doesn't really do a whole lot, does it? Doesn't seem like. Use the Pokeball. Well, maybe this one will end up taking me a little bit longer. You can drink. You have a coughing. Apparently. Oh, come on! Also, if the Quick Claw is gone forever, then I'd reset, but I assume that it's not. Okay. Someone that you won't really be able to heal off of, preferably, here. So use that here. Fire Blast on the Fortress, please. Reflect. Oh, Raikou's pissed off. That's good. I can call you, make you less pissed off, and it'll get us closer to being able to purify you and stuff. There we go. There goes Fortress. Okay, well, you're not in the red anymore. A little bit unfortunate, but me. It's not even shaking at all. Not even doing any shaky, shaky. Sh I don't know what the heck. I was going to make like a reference to Hef's to from A Breath of the Wild, but I don't even remember what exactly he says. Shaky Shaka, I think. Sure, I'll go heal up after this. So just fire blast the coughing. Yeah, it totally appeared to be caught. It definitely did. I have no doubt about that. Oh, no. Don't battle. Keep chucking Pokeballs and stuff. That's what you do. Get in there. Get on in. Man. There goes coughing. Now, at least you're not doing that much damage there. All right. Player defeated. Riker Darage. Who needs a bitter bond like this? What? Okay. Toss that Pokeball. And then... This is how much of a, uh, and there must be a nicer encounter waiting to happen for me. This is, uh, how much of a Pokemon content creator I am nowadays. I love how we're literally doing two Pokemon playthroughs at the exact same time. You know? Because one isn't enough. Alright, let's go heal up and stuff. Well, that kind of sucks to suck. Like to restore your Pokemon. Yep. I would love to do that. Well, there goes Kirby. One whose game will be playing here pretty soon. All right, well, I don't know. Maybe that. Might be able to do big dark type damage, but at least Giga Drain won't exactly do a whole lot. No, I already stored my Pokemon. Let me save here as one. Yeah, save my progress. I'll write the current file. You want to check in Pokeballs? Yeah, I've seen Shiny Hunt. Yeah, it makes sense for Shiny Hunters, because then you just Shiny Hunt, like, pretty much on autopilot on multiple games at once. But, you know, more actively playing multiple games at once is a bit of a different beast, you know? This is just because, you know, we got a grind in Coliseum right now anyway. So it's like, what's the most fitting thing that we can do alongside this? Oh, how about the other Pokemon game? You know? Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that doesn't surprise me there. But, you know, it's not actively, like, making progress in each of those games. It's just, you know, shiny hunting. Bit of a different entity. One heads, energy drained. Well, sucks to suck. What's over here anyway? Okay, should I, like... You have a decent bit of health now. Can I do a hit here? Oh, I might get locked into this if I do that. Rage Fist would hit you way too hard, I think. Most likely. Is there anyone over here? Yeah. Yeah, you healing yourself kind of sucks. Kind of ruins things. 
Maybe I'll try to hit you with someone else. I'm not super confident in Mokuana not just murderizing you. Hi. I'm in training here. One day I'm going to win at the Coliseum. Wow, sounds amazing. All right, you're getting a decent smidge more health here. <laughs> yeah, let's just keep throwing Pokeballs. Zigzagoon and Linoon, both of them. Yeah, maybe I'm not gonna be able to get this quite as easily as the other ones, huh? Maybe. We shall see here. Uh... Maybe Power Gem Venusha could be super effective, so... I'd be a little bit sketched out about that. Ah, oh, we have access to Dragon Breath now! Cool! Yeah, sure. Power Gem. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, a little bit lower again. Don't really think I can go for another one. Unless I do, like, Spiky Shield. Could always do that if you're doing a physical attack. Is what I could well go for here. So much does Dragon Breath do? Ah, look how happy Vibrava is! Decent smidge there. Okay. And then, there we go. Little smidge down. About as much as I'm confident to do here, I think. Nest Ball will be a fitting color for you, but if I'm catching them all in standard Pokeballs, I may as well stay consistent at this point. Aw. Aw. This person really likes Zigzagoons and Linoons. Holy crap. It sure seems like. My goodness gracious. Okay. And then... I use a Pokeball. As one does. Oh, that one Linoons underground now. It appeared to be caught. It totally did. Ow, my Vibrava. How dare. Okay, well. Chuck that. Wait, is that the underground Linoon? Yeah, I think you are right now. But Linoon goes before us, right? I don't know. Let's just target this one to be safe. That's what we can do. Sure. Let's go for that. But yeah, hello, hello, Guzma. How's it going today? Oh, man. If only. If only here. Ouch. What a world. But yeah. Let's head a friend prod you for admonishing a Route 1 Combon? What? I don't actually know what that means. You what now? No Vibrava. How oh, dare. Send out Entei. Come on. Getting the Pokeballs. Honestly, not so great. I'm sorry to hear about that. I hope that things are able to turn around. That's no good there. Um, yeah, Ente is almost at the ready, too. Doing alrighty, keeping busy here. We're making progress on both Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Okay, well, you're just gonna get Giga Drained. So unless you stay into a Pokeball, like, right now, unless that happens, it's a reset. Imagine, though. <laughs> well, yeah, that might take a little smidge. Oh, there goes, uh, there goes Raikou. Sure, we'll do this then. Oh, Nante's pissed off. That's cool. That works for me. That is pretty handy, actually. Because then I can call you. And, uh, open your heart a little bit more. There we go, have the purple meter go down. But yeah. What happened? I lost the battle, so I reset. <laughs> Alright. This try is the charm, whatever one this is at this point. Nom. Nom that lie noon. Okay. Let's see here. Faint sound is coming from within the shrine. Will you touch the shrine? Yep. I sure will. We'll get a uh, level up over here. Sweet. Get stronger. Wait. Oh, mean look? I really don't think I need mean look. Like... The AI doesn't switch out anyway, so it's like, what's the point? You know? Why would I ever need that? After works, I just want to stop by and say hi, okie doke. Well, I hope you have a good drive to work. Or drive to work. There. Drive back home there. Good Hunter Melee. Wow, my confidence took a hit. <laughs> now we'll go back and heal. Keep on the grind here. And stuff. But yeah, take care there. Uh, maybe I should be training at pre-gym? Because pre-gym. Alright, so we do this. Excuse me. Don't know why they'd ever give a companion collision, but they did. 
So run back this way. I could go forward that way too. Okie dokie, yeah, that's understandable there. And then I think we night slash. That's what we do next. Oh, I did less than last time, I think. Was it a critical hit last time? I wonder. Hmm, hello, hello, Mythic. How's it going today? I'll just do this again. It is possible I might be able to do flower trick from there. Maybe. Okay, you're in the red now. So, uh, don't leave witnesses. <laughs> leave no witnesses. Okay, now we start chucking. Now we start throwing them. Throw your Pokemon at full health. But yeah, this is a near replicant boss fight moment. <laughs> what, where we just start playing a different video game? Sort of. <laughs> You could sort of say that. Dang it. Well, you're not on the red anymore. Maybe I can use another... F not full swipe. Uh, Night Slash here in a little bit. Man. Is your catch rate lower than the rest? Or are you just, you know, especially screwing with me here? I do wonder. All right. We run all the way back. Yeah, so we're kind of switching between these two monitors. I have Pokemon Scarlet Violet on this monitor and Pokemon Coliseum on this monitor. So, you know, kind of playing both at once. We out here multitasking. All right, check that Pokeball. Give it a good throw. And then... Ugh, pain. Ow. Would have been cool, but alas. All right, so we've already battled you. Oh, these are just the chests over here. That's all this is. Okay, so I can start going up now. Okay, so I think we send in Kirby next. Did a temporary trade? You snatch a copy of Violet and give them Persona 5 Royal. Once again, temporary, you would never accept that as a permanent trade just for uh, both sides to be able to try out their respective thing. Well, let me know what you end up thinking of Pokemon Violet there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Make you come out all this way. Wow, that was perfectly timed there. Right as I was saying, oh, oh, so did this game. Chaser Mello would like to battle. What exactly is a chaser anyway? I wonder. I can do this kind of camera angle so that you keep on getting to see the health bar and stuff. A tentacool. It's funny, a tentacool doesn't exist in this game, but its new form does. When Diglett and its... Well, not new form, but the convergent evolution thing. Diglett and its counterpart both exist in this game. But, uh... But, you know, only the new form of a tentacool is in this one. It's not new form, but the stupid new species thing. You know what I mean. Not to... Not to worry! take out this natu. All right, keep on chucking. Keep on chucking it here. Man, what's the new form of like tentacle there? It's technically not a new form. It's technically a different species that just looks very similar to tentacle because of like a convergent evolution thing, which is kind of what's going on with like the, uh, the thing we're up here. Like rather than, uh, uh, Doug Trio. We have Wug Trio, which is technically a different species rather than a different form. So this introduced like some convergent evolution things like that. But it's like a grass type and some other type. I don't remember. And it walks on land. So like the two tentacle tentacles, it like runs across the land like that. It's very silly. Um. Okay. Yeah. Keep on checking Pokeballs here. Something like that. So that exists in this game, but not a uh, not actual tentacle. Interestingly enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep on chucking a whole lot of Pokeballs. Speaking of Pokemon, you've been trying to get into the TCG properly for once. Oh, there was a time that I wanted to get into the TCG, but my wallet didn't like it, so I stopped. These cards are expansive, man. So I stopped doing it, but I was intrigued by it. I still am, like, slightly intrigued by it. I haven't tuned into anything about it in a good while. But I wish you luck with that. With that interesting endeavor there. Here's the Pokeball. Oh, who am I swapping into here? Entei. Still need some stuff. Why does Ruination do, like, so much damage? Oh, because it was, like, the... No, I remember now. It was already told to me earlier this stream, and then I forgot. Whoops. I press A there. That's why it does so much damage sometimes, but other times not. Oh, I knew the answer. I shouldn't have asked it. Um, yeah, Shadow Rush. Ouch. Okay. But, yeah, I literally have, like, one controller on each leg. Is literally the way I'm doing this, you know. I don't know. Sure, do this. Get out of here, Teddy Ursa. Last time we saw you in Scarlet and Violet here, you became a bug type. Found well, that if you use websites like TCG Player, you can just order individual cards for reasonable enough prices. You can build meta decks from there for less than 
75 wait per card yeah, i was about to say less than a dollar for a whole deck well how much profit are they losing there but if it's around that for card yeah i guess that's not too bad then that a case shall rush this silly tentacle but yeah i guess so i haven't actually uh i don't know if i've seen one of the tentacruels around the world or whatever the heck the uh different form is called i have to look up i keep on pressing x multiple times there use the pokeball bitches mella i mean really why are you here why are any of us here is the real question yeah so half my health it's always half I don't exactly the tentacruels can- Yeah, that's- that's what we were saying. Hello, hello, Saza. Don't you people have any sense of direction? Oh, you mean someone that you were wandering this whole time? It's because we don't know the name. I already said that it was a convergent evolution. <laughs> was the case. I did an explanation on it. Alright, this away we go. We go heal up and stuff. Oh, how dare you. How dare you do such a thing. Want to have its energy drained? Maybe I should switch to the other layout. It'd be more out of the way for the health bar and stuff. All right, but yeah, yeah, I already, I already explained it. <laughs> um, the Pokemon meta is having a stupid moment where the top deck is 46.5% of decks entered into tournaments to win a game on turn one. So what's some loose of you guess, huh? So the meta is in a bit of a wacky place right now, huh? But yeah. Yeah, I haven't played the game. I was waiting for them to fix it. May just buy it regardless. I don't think it's not going to get fixed. Is the uh, is the case there. And I personally would not exactly recommend. All right. In here we go. Like if I was not a... Like everyone can make their own decisions. But if this... Uh, if I was not a content creator, this is not a game I would support personally. Bam! Wow! Perfect! It, you get some of your health back. That would have been like the perfect amount of health to uh, leave you at. Okay. There we go. And we keep on chucking Pokeballs again. So if your progress has been saved. All right. Yeah, this is uh, not the great situation here. Not exactly, you know, toxic debris. Poison spikes were scattered all across the ground. Be fair from what you've played. It's not a completely terrible game. Just not a great one either. I mean, a lot of people seem to be saying online, like, you know, this is a poor, it's poorly made, but it's still a really good game that I would disagree with. I have not exactly had a whole lot of fun with this game. It feels really, really bare bones and like it's more of an idea ride than an actual implemented game. Is the, uh, is the case something that we'll be discussing in more detail in the, uh, Scarlet and Violet video essay <laughs> is the case. Hi. Oh, now. But now isn't this something? This is, this is your world. Good of you to come. So glad you're here. All right. Keep on chucking Pokeballs and stuff. Is the case. Yeah, in multiple ways, in my opinion. Wah. Foul play. All right. You have a Leap and a Celio, huh? Is what you have here. All right. Swap an Ethel as we do. And then, yeah. Keep on doing stuff here. Dragon Breath, sure. Nope, not battle. Just keep on chucking Pokeballs. Do that. But yeah, I think it needed a lot more than four months. Ugh. But yeah. To be fair now, you found me like Pokemon Boy for years now, so... So from that perspective, it was a little bit of a breath of fresh air. Ethel fainted. That's the case. This game needed a lot more than just bug fixing. If all the technical problems of this game were solved, there would still be like a lot of issues just with the way they handled the gameplay of this game. The overall structure. That makes it, in my opinion, pale in comparison to pretty much any other open world game that you can compare it to as an open world game. Is the case. Well, I can chuck one more Pokeball. Well, the memory leak was causing crashing, and in the latest patch, they said that they were apparently fixing, like, the crashing, but they would need to greatly reduce the amount of NPCs and Pokemon in the world. Imagine, though. Imagine for a hot second there. How crazy that would have been. Wow, we have one more chance. One more chance here. Get in there. Last Pokemon game you've beaten is why beat after sun. Last Pokemon game you've played before is let's go even if you have interest in playing that ever again. Yeah, it's definitely not for everyone there. I don't know if it's memory leak that caused all the problems. This game has 
a lot, a lot of problems. I don't think it's fair to say that like the memory leak is like the one thing that's causing every issue Scarlet and Violet has, even bug wise. Like I would be very surprised if that was the case. I I do not believe that. Oh, uh, Entei's gonna take some decent damage there. Like boobity bop. I would like to see a source on that because there is next to no chance that memory leak is a source of every single bug you can possibly run into in this game. No shot. Like there are some things that I hear some days where it's like, oh, maybe like maybe it's not super likely, but maybe that's the case. But that it, it just no, <laughs> like it could be for the crashing. For the crashing, it could definitely be, but for every bug there is in this game, absolutely not. Like, it does not work like that. I'd be very surprised if that were the case. I will eat my own shirt if that were the case there. That is, no, that's not even the case. <laughs> Let's see here. So we'll send out Ether next. Boopity bop. Like, this one short set, like, apparently the memory leak stuff has been patched with like the latest update i believe they said that they were going to reduce the crashing and i'm still running into like constant crazy thing where bob's here not every single thing not every single bug is going to be caused by the memory leak alone there is a lot a lot of issues in this game like even just look at bdsp and legends arceus both of those are insanely buggy unfinished games is the is that caused by memory leak is any time any game ever has any issue is that a is that a memory leak like it just doesn't work like that it just doesn't i don't know what to tell you like memory leak causing crashing yeah that can definitely be the case but you know every bug that's in this game it i don't know what kind of fantasy world that would be from but that's not no boobity bop night slash yeah well we'll keep on whittling you down here a little bit ouch but yeah Let's just give Game Freak an actual game engine. Stop making your own here. Have this gives Unity and Unreal and the other imagined <laughs> is the case. All right, let's see here. Like this game is never going to get fixed. I highly doubt it. The patches that I've done thus far are typically minor things that not a lot of people run into. To just kind of tell people, oh yeah, we're totally working on it. This game, I have no doubt, is going to be a buggy, unfinished mess for life. Like they don't have any reason to fix it. You know, they've already had insanely good sales. They've already said that they're fixing things and they're rolling out like these tiny little patches and that's going to be good enough. What more do they need to do? They've already broken sales records. There's no need to fix the whole thing. This is going to be this game's legacy. I have no doubt. Booby up. Cypher P on Sema. It was no fluke that you managed to come out here. Never should have come here. So I can just say Scarlet and Violet issue with stories that evoking the janitor experience where the main character just does the job without the motivation to do it. You can say that about like any mainline Pokemon plot there. Either VGC fix or crash prevention, no way performance fix. Yeah, this game is just so poorly made like at its base level that you basically have to remake it from the ground up if you ever want to truly fix it. Even the most recent update that said that they were fixing some of the crashes, they said that as a consequence, they're going to need to decrease the amount of Pokemon and people in the world to fix like the constant crashing. So. You know, if they, if the only time that they fix major thing, oh, there's the lighting being all bugging out and stuff there. It was bright and now it's dark again. Waste the effort for you being me or you won't change a thing while you're busily wasting time while becoming the world. Like, it just is so poorly designed, like at the ground level. Probably because they were trying to rush out two games to release in the exact same year between this and Legends of Arceus, both which turned out as, you know, buggy unfinished games. This one more so, but... You know, both of them are definitely really big cases of that. Look, now it's bright again. Oh, now it's dark again. Like, that's not a memory leak issue, for example. That's just them not knowing where the heck to render shadows. Green hat's energy drained. Can't wait for the game update that makes no people on Pokemon here 50 feet in front of you and vanish any further. That's already the case a lot of the time. Is the thing. Actually, no, it's more like, a, more like 10 feet right now. Is the case maybe they'll increase the distance 15 sounds like it would be an increase so we're pokemon to full health all righty go ahead and save as we do with each of these go ahead and use reflect whoa no 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 around we go 
having to battle some more dudos here and stuff, you know. There's a memory leak. The dev team lost their memory and didn't remember if dark or light. <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's the that's the cause of the lighting issues. Look, now it's light again. Oh, but this little area is dark. But now it's fully light, even in that area that the Pokeball was before. Now it's fully dark. Oh, now it's medium dark. Oh, weird. Strange, man. Yeah, this, uh, like I was saying earlier, to each their own, but were I not a content creator, I would not support this game. You know. Would not be the case. I'd look up some gameplay of it on YouTube or something like that, and then just be like, yeah. I'm I'm not okay. So there's nothing more there. So we can go to the room where like the totally mirror B is something like that <laughs> Don't love your streams. I <laughs> appreciate it Alucard. Oh Man, can this dude get in the pokeball already? I thought it would for a second there. <laughs> this is gonna hurt tomorrow. You're laughing too much <laughs> Oh Man get in the pokeball darn you snail, but yeah Yeah, I mean it does kind of in a way Use Giga Drain. Stop giving me the suck without my consent. <laughs> Just the rapid switching there. All right, keep chucking the Pokeballs. So, you know, part of me is tempted to be like, oh, let's make this purely, let's switch back to purely Pokemon Coliseum because there's like a bigger thing that's going to happen here, but whatever, we're doing Scarlet and Violet now. What's happening over here? Kirby Head's energy drained. Hi! It's a Yellow Ranger, a Miracle Bee! A Mirror Bee's rightful successor! Going to get me an Afro! Oh, cool. So that's gonna be going on. Cypher Pion and Miracle Bee would like to battle. All right, it's the boss at the end of the side quest now. Oh, oh man. The Seeking and Sand Slash. But yeah. What Wochian is based on? Yeah, Snail. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Grass Snail. Man, what is that? Give me the top left corner. Is that dev footage for Gem 9? It might be. Oh, Vibrava's done now. Sweet. You'd love to see it. Oh, I could get access to Quick Attack. Cool. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll Dragon Breath here first, and then we can switch into Entei or something like that. Even though it says there's not enough wood in the world to record your sins? Oh. Huh. Well, here's the Pokeball here. <laughs> Looks a lot more complete than Gen 9. All right. Like, look at the animations on it. Like, look at Vibrava there, for example. Like, the animations are definitely something, as opposed to that start of an animation, and then here's something generic that can be applied to any Pokemon. Oh, get paralyzed, nerd. Good old dragon breath. Okay, and then we, um... I think we used Power Gem here? Did we do it after Mokuwan? I don't remember. Is the case. But yeah, let's just see here. Yeah, sure, we can do that. Sure, I'll do this, because you still have a little bit of work to do before you'll be ready to be purified. Uh, can I? I could spiky shield once here. That's the case. Oh, Raikou's pissed off. Alright. That works for me. Power whip. Get a little bit of damage there. Yeah, they didn't even... They actually didn't know what Pokemon was until they were given that project, interestingly enough. Ow, I was hoping you wouldn't do that right there. Alright, well. I guess because Raikou went into hyper mode. So didn't quite get the chance to shadow rush there. I guess I could have Shadow Rush without calling there. Might have gotten a critical hit or something like that. But yeah. Ramoni, were you sponsored by a monitor company? I mean, man, you definitely use a lot of them to be fair. You love multi monitor steps. I do definitely use a lot. You know, I wish I was sponsored by a monitor company. That'd be a pretty sweet sponsor there. It would be really applicable to me. But yeah, I mean, you know, this is a. Uh, this is what I've got going on here. There's Pokemon Coliseum. There's Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There's the chat and like alert box. And there's OBS. So, you know. I would love to be sponsored by a monitor company. <laughs> I don't have any room for any more monitors. I'll have to put one like here, but I have to like majorly turn over to see it. I don't really have more monitor space, you know. I just don't really here. Um, I don't know. Go after that electrode. Ne Actually, no. Go after the uh, sand slash next because uh, you know you'd be super effective against Raikou there. So uh, maybe fire blast the sand slash. You know what we can do. But yeah. How many treasures have you done? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Not quite so. Oh gosh, dang it. But yeah, you can put it there and just full screen an image from the game you're playing. <laughs> what, just have it there? <laughs> show the game that I'm playing even more. I typically already, you know, 
have three of the same game that I'm playing in front of me. Because usually this is like my main monitor. This is OBS, so the game is there as well anyway. And then that's like my stream manager, which typically shows the game as well. So I already have the game like in front of me three times under normal circumstances, you know. Is already the kind of the case. Um, there's a treasure of road. So like which of these? This is just the third one here. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and check the Pokeball. This one's taking the longest here though. Oh, it's already selected. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Oh, because both my Pokemon fainted. Because I'm dipping back and forth here. The thing. Or... Yeah. Yeah, that was the case. Appeared to be caught. Yeah, it totally did appear to be caught. Alright, well, yeah, not gonna be a super easy peasy walk in the park battle, but... I still hopefully shouldn't be too hard here. Okay, well, I don't know, man. I don't know. Look how bright it suddenly gets over there. Oh, now the shadow is over in this area. Yeah, use a Pokeball. And it's fully bright over there, sort of. Pokemon broke free. Well, there goes Sand Slash at least. This are making progress in Coliseum in the meantime. Yeah, XP points. Okay, yeah, keep on chucking those. Throw a Pokeball. Pseudo Wudo. You really are trying to be the next me or B here. Alright, last few attacks. Or last few Pokemon here. Last couple of them. Alright. I think I might just be getting RNG screwed. <laughs> might well be the case. It's causing that lighting? Is it only rendering the thing causing the shadow at that one camera angle? Or it has something to do with like based on the camera position, it'll render different shadows. And I think it figures when it's that close, it doesn't have to render those shadows. Like it doesn't render the thing that's casting that shadow at that diff at that distance so if i move the camera okay it's not one of those scenes sometimes there are some scenes where when you're moving the camera it'll just have the shadows not exist but when you stop the camera it'll have them exist i don't know it's weird there but yeah but what he wasn't was chiyu chiyu was horrendous for you spent seven hours trying to catch it jeez well i really hope it doesn't come down to that here because this is kind of insane Mimic? What are you gonna mimic though? What's it gonna be? Psybeam? Okay, that's fine. Should be fine there, I believe. Okay, well, I don't know, man. I don't think I'm doing any more damage without taking you out here, so, uh. Just keep on chucking Pokeballs and hoping for the best, I guess. This is what we can do. We can give it a go. <sighs> Dang you. Oh, you're all confused. You're gonna take yourself out? Nope. Not right now. You're gonna get bitten. Nom. Use the Pokeball. What have we got here? Man. All right, get some experience points. Power Whip. Okay, neat. All right. You defeated Cypher Peon Miracle Bee. My dreams, you've ruined my dreams of getting an Afro. <laughs> okay. The heck? Darn! I don't care if no one agrees. I'm still the rightful heir to Mirror B, even though my hair hasn't grown a full afro dough. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a uh, that was certainly something, wasn't it? Come on, get caught now. Okay. Even though my hair hasn't grown to a full afro. Okay. Well, there's that. Well. Yeah, and then there's all the spotlights here. Well, I guess we did this side quest. So, what are our Pokemon looking like right now in terms of their heart meters? I still have a little bit to go with Raikou. Vibrava's done, Entei's almost done, and Suicune is done. You know? So, like, things are looking pretty good here. I guess we can go to Fenax City and do the battles that are apparently over there. Like, finish off the last smidges here or something like that. Because, yeah, we, uh, are almost there for that. And we, uh, you know, this Colosseum stream kind of transitioned into a Scarlet and Violet stream like this. Ruination. Alright, I gotta figure out how the heck to get out of here now. You know, I think I remember the way out. I think I do, hopefully. Let's see here. Okay! Wow. When it has, like, most of its health still. Yeah, that's cool. 
I'd love to restore my Pokemon to full health. Thank you for asking. Shouldn't say it's been added to the Pokedex. We might even be able to continue with like main story stuff in a Coliseum here. Is the thing at this point. I mean, if there's one more legendary Pokemon to go, like I may as well keep on doing stuff like this in Coliseum. Just because like we're just chucking Pokeballs otherwise. You know, so yeah, may as well. Mo Chien, ruinous Pokemon, dark grass. The grudge of a person of a person punished for writing the king's evil deeds upon wooden tablets has clad itself in dead leaves to become a Pokemon. Huh. Maybe we'll give nicknames later. I don't know. Send your boxes. So maybe I should get set up in a Coliseum here to see, you know, figure out what the heck it is we're doing next before we start the next legendary there. I can find where it is on the map. Is what I can do. So... This will be Chiyu for this final one. Yeah, that's the one that was by like that waterfall. So let's see here. But yeah. I'm sure that they probably all have the same catch rate, I would imagine. So this one is going to be over here, apparently. So I'll fast travel over in a little bit there. Um, in the meantime, let's um let's get situated in Coliseum here first. Is what we can do. And, uh, I guess the Coliseum is muted right now. Hold on, let's just figure out where this next set of battles is that I can do. Because we can just do it in the meantime. Restart to install the latest Windows update. No, go away. Um, volume mixer. Turn this on briefly. Yeah. Go back to Coliseum for a hot second here. I'll even put on my main monitor here. As well, do. Hold on, let's get out of here. Wait. Wait, what? Hold on. Where I come from for here? The other ones didn't really give me all that much trouble at all. Was the case. This was leading to a dead end, right? Yeah, this was that. Alright, I am getting myself mixed up here. Is the case, huh? Also, in terms of ones that are done. Yeah, Vibrava's done, so we can switch with the uh, Entei like that. Yeah, like I said, I didn't have any issues with, like, any of the other ones there. Like, I guess slightly, but not that big of a deal. Okay, it's got not so bad luck with them. Yeah, it was this way now, right? Was the case. So yeah, let's go get situated in Fennac. And, uh, you know, start some battles there. And then we can go after the last legendary in Scarlet. Sounds like a good idea to me, right? Alright. This way we go. And then, yeah, next time we stream Pokemon Coliseum, we should be able to finish off the game. You know. We should be able to zoom on through and finish the game, and it'll be great. Now I'll be a whole lot stronger for when I go for it. You know? Alright, so let's dip on down to Fennec. Because apparently there's, like, Coliseum battles there or something or other. That I can do. Excuse me. Or we can open the door to my Pokemon's hearts a bit more. Maybe I should deposit Suicune and Vibrava for now, just briefly. Just so I can start opening the door to someone else's heart. I don't know. I don't know, maybe some Dudos I've made some progress on. Something or other. Okay, so Finax City. Let's go. Got some more battles that we can do. So, it's been a while since we've been here. So what kind of battles can we do? Is it all the way at the Coliseum over here, I wonder? Might it be? Can we do some battles here while we catch the last Scarlet and Violet Legendary and then we well and Well, I guess there's the other Coridon slash Miraidon. Then we'll be well and truly done until DLC. Welcome to Fennec Stadium. Would you like to enter the Knockout Challenge? Yeah, sure. I'll just do it with my current squad. You'll participate with the Pokemon that you currently have in your party now. Sure. Um, do you think that maybe using a shadow Pokemon here won't be a good idea? I think you should use only ordinary Pokemon. Okay, it's the other thing we're Bob there. But yeah, is that motorcycle without a front wheel floating? No, it ejects at the bottom. Open it up. We. This away we go. Come on. Yeah, so probably things in here, I would imagine. Most likely. Is there a machine that I can interact with? I'm a little bit confused here. Hi, welcome to the pre-gym. This is a place for trainers and Pokemon to not only sharpen their strength and skills, but also their body and spirit. Okay, well, how do I do it? I wonder. Excuse me. I don't know how I do it. Welcome back, Guzma. I don't know how I do it, though. 
Let's see, all Pokemon types and abilities, combination of those elements, yada yada. As longer you plan on streaming, uh, a little bit longer. I still haven't, you know, munched any significant food today. So like, you know, pay attention one does not become a good trainer simply by battling without strategy. So like, I'm starting to get pretty hungry. And you must be a trainer too, or you're listening on my class. Since you're here, I have something that you might like. May I see your PDA, please? Oh, is that a Pokemon? That's a Pokemon Digital Assistant, or PDA for short. Carm, you have one too, don't you? Show the PDA. Here you go. I've upgraded and added the strategy memo function. Oh. Okay. Interesting. No, I... It doesn't come out until tomorrow. I'm not playing it digitally. I never play games digitally. The thing. I can't. I'm in the middle of streaming this. That we have things to wrap up in. You know? Oh, I'm just seeing in the charge of running the pre-gym. Judge by your appearance, I say they're traveling, the two of you. Well, what do you think? Since you're already here, do you feel like having a battle? Sure. But yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna introduce you to the trainers of pre-gym. When you're ready to go, just go to the battle area in the center and start at the left-hand side. Okay. Okay, then. So, like, here? Um, go for it. I'll be right here cheering. Looks like, looks like you're ready. Well, let's get this started. In Ollie, you'll be facing four trainers. They're all a handful. I can vouch for that. And now this is where your opponent enters. Okay, so now we can start going after the, uh... Whoa, wow. Now we can start doing the, uh, last legendary thing for Bob in Scarlet and Violet here. That's what we can do. If you like taking on some grass-type Pokemon, then I'm the one you want. Okay, look. Now we have battles that we can be doing while we're going after the last legendary here. All right. In that case. Wait, no. I need to go into the volley mixer and turn off, uh... Turn off... Coliseum first, or else we're gonna be hearing two games at once. Is the case. And I don't really want to be hearing two games at once. So yeah, mute that. Then I can switch my input on over. But yeah. Well, I'm not getting Oxpath 2 on Steam. I'm getting it on the Switch. That's where we played Oxpath 1. I wouldn't change it up like mid like mid-series for the uh for the game there. Let's see here. For the same video game. But yeah, let's see here. Alright, yeah. Oh, and these guys are super weak. But yeah, they're going to be great for just opening the door to the heart of these Pokemon. I was pressing the wrong buttons there because I'm getting mixed up with my Switch controller. 